Now, present ages of x and y are in the ratio 5 is to 6. 7 years hence, the ratio will be 6 is to 7. Now, what is x present age? This is present age of x and y. Okay. Now, I just write over here x and y. It's 5 is to 6 and 6 is to 7. This is present. This is after 7 years. Exactly it is one part. Now this one part is 7 years. Okay. Now we have to find out the x, is pre x present age. That is actually 5 parts. If one part is 7 years, then 5 part will be 35 years. Okay. Friends, there is no paperwork required over here. Now let's see this question. Seats for mathematics, physics and biology in a school are in the ratio 5 is to 7 is to 8. There is a proposal to increase these uh, seats by 40%, 50% and 75% respectively. What will be the ratio of increased seats? 40% is actually 2 by 5. It is half and it is 3 by 4. Suppose as of now, the ratio is 5, 7, 5 is to 7 is to 8. That is 5x, 7x and 8x. This is maths physics and biology suppose this uh, is increased by 40 percent that is it becomes 1.4 that is 7 by 5 okay so 5 into 7 by 5x and it becomes uh, 50 percent increase so 7 into 3 by 2 and here it is uh, 75 percent increment so it's 7 by 4 okay now we can find out the ratio it is 7 is to 7 into 3 by 2 that is 21 by 2 is to 14 or we can say it is 14 is to 21 is to 28 or even we can simplify it it is 7 is to 3 is to 4 okay friends 7 2 I am sorry 7 2 7 3 and 7 4 2 then that is 2 is to 3 is to 4 okay friends you must remember the basic percentage to fraction conversions uh, so that the problem becomes very easy you must be knowing that 40 percent is actually 2 by 5 50 percent is half and 75 percent is 3 by 4 since uh, there is an increment i am adding 1 plus 2 by 5 1 plus 1 by 2 and 1 plus 3 by 4 and the same data i have mentioned over here okay i hope you are clear